Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick recap on the event which actually happened last night, explaining what could happen tonight and also potentially what could happen in the future of Fortnite Battle Royale. So if you missed last night's event, I've got an entire live stream on it. I do recommend checking it out. But to summarize it really quickly, what happened was the island was floating and it had all of the ruins surrounding it, which are currently now on the floor, and the ruins all fell down to the ground and just crashed down. And simply, that's all. All that happened and then the cube took all the energy from them and started driving towards from what I know and predicted probably leaky light but people are also predicting tilted towers but to be honest I don't think they'll destroy tilted towers there's been many moments in the game where tilted towers has potentially almost about to be destroyed for example the rocket in season four that flew down and almost hit tilted towers which is in my story video and also a few other events as well where the meteorite hit tilted towers and destroyed this building here which is now under reconstruction once again and there's just several things that have happened to tilted towers but i don't think it'll ever be completely removed it'll just be damaged now if this does fly through tilted i don't think it'll do any damage to it because it's not going to stop there i don't think but you never know so what we can expect to happen from after this kind of in-game event that was a little bit weird. I recommend checking out the live stream if you want to see the event. It talks about it and stuff and exactly what's going on with the cube movement. But yeah, check that out if you haven't already. It was a bit weird because the event didn't actually show 100% on screen. We only saw the actual cube moving. We didn't see the islands. So it's a bit weird. But yeah, go and check that stream out. It's a cool one. Uh, nothing really happened too much though with the actual live event. But, you know, check it out. It's worth having a look because there are a lot of things going on and my reaction is pretty fun. So you can see here the cube is moving towards Leaky Lake. What we can expect from the future from leaked information from leakers from what I know is apparently the cube is going to open up and it is rumoured that the blockbuster skin could return from the cube. Now that does link to a few other things as well which hopefully we could predict in the future but for now we're going to have to leave that because I haven't really sat down and started discuss like thinking and discussing with people what potentially the blockbuster skin could could do if he returns so all i know is the cube potentially is going to open up when it locates itself most likely back at leaky lake as it has powered itself up and sucked up all the energy we could expect maybe the cube to plonk itself down where it kind of just was originally formed and the cube could go inside this area here plonk itself down and then something major could happen the whole island could open up the lake could transform into something different maybe a volcano could reappear volcano stuff is just a no-go in my opinion uh, but you know i just believe something could happen like that but this is kind of like a volcano i guess it's like an upside down volcano like if you turn this upside down yes it's like a a cube volcano so maybe the cube could erupt through and it would just turn itself around the other way and maybe it becomes some sort of kind of like cube field over here and loads of things start summoning i don't know they could even add husks into the game for example uh, this could have something relation like relating to them the lake could all, all like turn into like a force field husks don't leave the lake but when you enter the lake you can run across it but you have a risk of getting killed by zombies husks which was kind of like blackout what they've done with their zombie type thing and again fortnite could easily program program that in as long as they don't put too many husks in they could put like say nine or ten or eleven in each area so say if i'm running across here you get a max Someone of like 10 husks after you and then the other person would get them out some of 10 and say if there was too many people on the lake they'd just reduce the amount of husks on the lake so it's not too hard for them to program so i guess they could do something like that but that's very unlikely but it's just a prediction feel free to leave your predictions down below in the comment section i'd love to see what you guys are interested in and also if you haven't already do go and support me as a creator on Fortnite. To simply do that, you just pop over to the item shop and you'll see at the bottom right, support a creator. Enter in my name, PostboxPat, and then feel free to go on Twitter at PostboxPat and send me a screenshot of you guys supporting me. I'll absolutely love that if you guys can do that. And show me what purchases you guys have purchased supporting me and it will be absolutely awesome. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you're new around here, stick around for daily Fortnite content. Hopefully, potentially, there could be a live stream tonight. If you're wondering what time that'll be, it'll be the same time as last night. Last night. So it's always four. 4 ET I think or 9 o'clock in the UK so just have a look on like your time conversions and stuff or go and check out last video because I had all the times in there in the comment section so check that one out hope you guys have enjoyed I'll see you guys tonight with a live stream just in case something does happen we potentially could see the island at the location there but we'll have to see what's going to happen so I hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe if you're new around here do remember to stick around and once again this is Postbox Part signing out